Well, it's important to focus on that persona, you know, that person where you can actually understand what they're thinking and what they need, the pain point that you want to help them with. Yeah, well, if you build it, they will come. Hey, I'm Emma, this is Sam, my co-host, and I got asked, what is thought leadership? Well, thought leadership has a two-part definition. The first, it's people who are representing themselves or a company, and we look to them for their guidance and their wisdom. One thought leader that I like to follow is Gary Vaynerchuk or- Gary V. There you go. So does it actually have to be a person? No, it can just be a thought, you know, a social construct that we can all get behind. So what's the secret in developing thought leadership? Well, there's many things that can go into developing thought leadership. One, you want to sell your ideas and not your products. Mm -hmm. You have to establish yourself as a, you know, expert in some field. And hence the reason why we're here, because we're leaders in our chosen fields. Second is give it away. It's good to, you know, monetize your content, but every now and then you want to be able to give back to your community and, you know, give them some value. Just like this video. Next is take a position. You know, this isn't just something that, you know, you just haphazardly, you know, get into, but it's just something that you're passionate about, something that you truly believe in. All right, Sam, this is all super helpful advice, but like, how can I make the biggest difference? Well, it's important to focus on that persona, you know, that person where you can actually understand what they're thinking and what they need, the pain point that you want to help them with mm -hmm. and focus on that, whether it be your writing, your content, your, you know, speaking engagements, focus in on how you can definitely help that person. So for my last tip is be visible. You know, you're not a, just a thought leader for yourself, it's for others. Like for instance, Emma, I know that you know, you're an authority in your field, you know, she does webinars and connects with a lot of the people in multiple communities. Yeah, well, if you build it, they will come. So what I did is I really made sure I got myself out there in the community. Mm -hmm. So I was going to things like chamber events, chamber mm -hmm. of commerce, um, anything where I could network. And then as I was doing webinars, I made a point of positioning myself as an expert. Like, hey, this is something I do on a weekly basis to help businesses like yours, everyone tuning in. And also I'd position myself to make even more visibility here, I'd be like, hey, I've also been part of the GoDaddy social team. And by the way, we've been doing social media for over nine years and saying, yeah, we've Damn. written over 10 million posts. So by doing that, I position myself as an expert. I also get out there in the community and I also email you all y'all a ton just to keep <laughs> the word out about the next webinar and the webinar after that. So you make that call to action. So call to action, people yeah. People understand where to go and be mm -hmm. what to expect. And a follow-up email too. So there's a way to get in touch if you have questions post-webinar as well as a recording. So it's a lot of visibility and a continuation of that. So comment below and let us know who's your favorite thought leader to follow. Also, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and ring that bell so you are the first to know about the next video. This is The Journey. See you next time.